Randy, the National Couture. I'm Stefan Bonner. This is Canada Spider Grove. I'm Cara Prezen. This is Brandon Truth Vera. Hey, I'm Ariane Celeste. Yeah, I'm Chuck Dunn. I'm Forrest Griffin. I am Fyodor. You are watching MMA Fix. Welcome to another installment of the MMA Fix. My name is Dave Fair for RawVegas.tv. Standing next to Dave Kaplan. How you doing, man? I was going to say my name. I'm good. How are you? What's your name? Diamond Dave Kaplan. Diamond Dave Kaplan fighting in the tough finale coming up uh, December 13th. You excited? I'm very excited. I hope I win. This is sort of a, a little twist that people didn't expect here at the end of the season. How did, how did you end actually fighting Junie in the finale? The reason I want to fight him is because I know it'll be a good fight and it's going to be on TV and it's the fight that people want to see. You know, I want to go out there and have a fight that people are talking about more than they're talking about the finales or the finals. You know, and, and he versus me is that dream fight. If you go back a couple of uh, episodes ago when I had to help him, make weight and, and for all of you guys that watch tonight's episode uh, there's a little deja vu he said some things that were maybe a little bit disparaging about me um after my unfortunate loss uh, a couple episodes ago so i think that you know with the storyline the way that it is and being teammates and training with him day in and day out it's going to be an exciting fight both of you guys on the show made a large impact because of some crazy antics and you orchestrated some of this and you thought about what you were going to do ahead of time before some of the crazy unexpected antics happened but tell me uh, your thought process it's a good thing and it's a bad thing maybe you know it's, it's easy to say some say things about somebody like him who just reacts to things you know gets drunk and throws stuff and 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 uh, gets upset about things and you know somebody that gets drunk and plans things out and does it maybe that means I'm worse you know because I do this stuff knowing that I'm going to do it knowing that I'm going to let somebody punch me in the face or drink something that might be questionable the thing about the show is there's so much uh so much uh craziness and stress that goes on getting ready to fight guys living with them cutting weight not knowing when you're gonna have to fight and that kind of stuff you know i wanted to put my name out there and if it's craziness it's craziness i can't say that i'm not nuts i am i do that stuff whether there's a camera rolling or not you know it, it is what it is you know if, if you're gonna put uh, you know, 16 of the best fighters in the country or best up and coming fighters in the country, they're not all going to be gentlemen and they're not all going to be guys that you, you know, that you take home to mom. It's fair to say that there, there's a little bit of drama between you and Junie Browning. And he's made a couple of statements in interviews post show saying that you went to the other team, revealed some training tactics. D does that leave any bad blood before the fight? Because he said that he forgives you and, and it's water under the bridge, but do you buy that? Uh, forgive me for what? I mean, I never said anything to any of the red team guys about uh, the way that Junie practiced. I was very loyal to the blue team. I mean, I trained with him. I'm the one who didn't want him kicked off the show because he was a good training partner for me. But as far as conversations with any of the red team guys about what he did, you know, that's, I think that might be justification in his mind uh, for what he told Philippe and stuff. But he can tell those guys he could have and he can in the future tell those guys whatever he wants to. It's not going to change the way that I fight. And I don't fight with any secrets. I low kick a lot. I punch a lot. I'm a good stand-up fighter. I'm a, you know, I'm a good wrestler. Everybody knows these things. I don't have to you know, keep them uh, as a secret. I don't have any bad blood towards him. And the thing about him is when I look across the octagon at him, um, he's a talented fighter and I respect him. But he's also trying to take money out of my pocket. And that, that, that guy's got to be eliminated. There's four blue jerseys going head-to-head -head in the finale. Uh, looking back on the season, hindsight's always 20-20. Do you think that Frank Mir was a better coach than Noguera? Yes and no. I, I think that they're... Frank is an excellent coach in that he realizes that he's going to let... You know, he's got a bunch of guys that are really good at different things, and he lets them mature in the things that they need to do. He was good in that he brought in some really, really great guys like Demi and Maya and Robert Drysdale and Ken and uh, Dan Henderson came in and Joe Stevenson. Noguera, on the other hand, is more like the kind of wrestling coach. It was more of a team environment. They ate dinner together, all this kind of stuff. And I think for some of those guys, they needed that, you know, and, and really appreciated that. Would I have been upset being on Noguera's team? No way, because the guy's awesome. But I think it's going to be a battle. I mean, Noguera hasn't ever been knocked out. He's never been submitted. So Frank's got a, uh, uh, an uphill battle, but I think he's, he's up for the challenge. Past, present, or future, which UFC personality would you most like to train with that you think that you could really draw the most from as a fighter? I mean, I've pretty much trained with all the guys that I really wanted to. I got to train with Vanderlei. I got to train with Frank. I got to train with Noguera. I lived out in Holland. I got to train with Ernesto, who's, who's a, a K1 guy. So really, almost everybody that I've really wanted to. I'd like to train with Ric Flair because uh, he's my hero in the sporting world. Um, but other than that, once that happens, I'll pretty much be done. If I could train with a, a, like myself, if I could have another Diamond Dave, that'd be pretty cool. But 
might be arrested or locked up. Diamond Dave Kaplan, December 13th, he's fighting Juni Browning at the Palms here in Las Vegas. Thanks for talking to us on the MMA Fix. Thank you so much. Watch it. It'll be the only time you get to see me for free. This is Diamond Dave Kaplan, and you're watching MMA Fix.